Many of you probably think I hate open back headphones for gaming. And it's not that I hate them, it's that I really think they're misrepresented in so many places. You all know the whole competitive talk and everything, right? This pair of open back headphones that I tested for gaming here are really gonna change your thoughts on that because these were fun. And that is the Hi-Fi Man HE 400 SE Planar Magnetic Headphones. As you see in your box, well, you can get your headphones and it's as simple as 3.5. Now, as you see, you got each port going to ear, left and right, and then your basic 3.5, so you can use this on any device. But before we get into any of that, let's talk about the comfort in the build. And starting off with these ear pads, Oh my goodness, they are so comfortable. As you see, they're plush just like a pillow pleather on the outside. You have that soft cotton velourish whatever on the top. Inside you have the perforated holes as you can see. Now these ear pads are plenty big right there, plenty wide, kind of like a circle. As far as depth, plenty of depth as well. And again, the density of the pads and everything, your ears are not gonna be touching. The drivers inside there, very, very comfortable. And as you can see, looking at these ear pads, they got a slight incline right a little bit thicker there a little bit forward in there that's going to flow right into the comfort again as far as sitting on your head because again it wraps around on the back slides on on the forward now another benefit about that is well there's not much swivel in this but there is enough as you see the ear cups adjusting right there they do go in and out of course but you don't have full swivel but you have enough now if you take a look at that plastic bragger hopefully the camera can pick it up you see where you get that little bit of swivel you kind of have that pinched in spot right there which gives it that movement now as far as adjustment clicky arms as you can hear right there and hold its position very nice now talking about the build these forks going into here are metal and as you can see they're held on by this little screw joint which is really nice in case you have any issues now your cups over here are plastic then you got this plastic bracket in here going up into your headband talking about the headband this might be the one downfall for comfort guys this thing is firm it's like you got these super plush ear pads but then you come up here and it's like what the heck's going on i wish they would have used this same type of uh, padding up on the headband and we would have been perfect now even with that great build putting this on the scale here we are coming in at 384 grams so it's not extremely heavy nothing like that and when you take these and just put them on your head could I give it the stinking cozy badge? As much as I want to, I don't think I can. They're more or less sitting there. They're not uncomfortable. They're not painful. They're not annoying, but I feel them. Again, I've talked about it before. It's like a hat on your head. You know what I mean? You feel it sitting on your head. The best uh, way I can put these as far as comfort is have you used the Corsair Virtuosos, right? We all know that they sit on your head. They're not really uncomfortable. They're, those are a bit heavier, so you feel them resting. But with the uh, lack of cushion up on the headband, you feel it kind of sitting there the clamping force is clear as daylight so again i think if they put a little bit more padding up there heck you don't even got to change the clamping force but a little bit more padding would have gone a long way right here and would have gotten it that stinking cozy badge but as it is i just got i think i'm gonna stick with cozy but again as far as build these things are solid i don't get worried one single bit right there again you hear that movement that's because you got that little bit of adjustment up there. And I think that little bit of adjustment gives us some of that leeway. Again, you even got the ear pads or the cups going in and out right there. These things feel really solid in the hand. I, I really like the build and I don't worry about it at all. All right, so here we go. Get yourself comfortable. Get a snack. Get a drink. You know Technique's going to get on his sound talk, right? You know I talk a long time without sound. So, But number one here, right? Talking about it, it is 3.5. So you can use it across any device, which I tested on the Xbox Series X, the PS5, the Switch, and a whole lot of PC and then of course dabbling on my Macs with videos and stuff just straight plugged in on PC I did run by iFi Zen stack the amp and that DAC right there so we'll talk about that console compared to running by amp as well these guys are using planar magnetic drivers the freeze range of 20 to 20,000 now it is 25 ohms and I want to talk about that first all right so we all know the ohms is how much it takes to power a pair of headphones you know and 25 being on the lower end I felt like this headset or this headphone really performed so much more. I don't even want to say better, okay? I want to say it brought out a whole nother level of the headphone when plugged into my iFi amp on my PC. And I'm not talking like, oh, hey, yeah, anything you plug in the amp's going to sound better. That's not what I'm saying here, okay? Because even talking about using this on the PS5, I was playing Assassin's Creed, new, uh, what is it called, Ragnarok or whatever, bought that DLC. Wow, guys. It was awesome. It was. I, I just, I sat in front of there. It was just like hours and I'm just like, 
I just wanted to listen to the environment. It was, it sounds so corny, but me being a, a sound nerd, you know, it was just, it was so fun. And, and I think that's coming into play with the combination here with the planar magnetic with the open back, right? You got that environment. You got that whole world around you, the distance of the birds and the wind and stuff like that. It was so fun. Nothing was too punchy. The footsteps were nice and crisp. When you called in your mount, it was nice and crisp. The water, just hearing the water, right? It's, you're probably like, dude, what a nerd. But you just wanted to sit there and listen to it. It sounded great. And again, that, that's me talking about how many may think I hate open back. Well, I don't hate open back. Again, I like them in the right situation. And this was the right situation talking about with Assassin's Creed. And this performed really well. Now, again, yeah, I'm going to bring it back to me playing Halo. Okay, and I'm plugged into my uh, iFi again right there. And it's just not open back. I'm not going to get into my rant, but y'all know I always stay open back for competitive is 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 a load of mumble jumble right there. It's not it's not 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 really good, you know. And I and I didn't like it. I didn't have a good experience right there. I was like, you know, I always wanted to get something else on. I was close and I can really lock in to that detail and again that competitive edge right there that would hold it in. I'm not even talking about hearing, you know, my my son playing over there or anything else like that. The AC running since they're open back. I'm not talking about that. That's going to be environment to environment, person to person right there. You know? You know, I'm just talking about that core experience. But again, going with an open back, playing something like Battlefield, that was really cool. Because again, it's not competitive. You're not really picking out footprints or, or footsteps in Battlefield. You got so much going on, but you get that whole environment, which puts you into the game and just opens up that massive Battlefield for you, which is really cool. Uh, bringing it back to talking about Halo, so I don't want to touch on Halo. And I was also, I also re-downloaded... Um, what is it? Call of Duty, the... Well, man, I can't even think of what it's called. The uh, Battle Royale. Anyways, I stopped playing that for so long. And it's uh, it's just... Talking Halo and Call of Duty right there, I felt like I did not have the advantage. I had a guy above me, totally missed it. I had a guy coming around me, and I totally missed it. You know what I mean? Because, again, you got the environment. Everything's spread out around you. Nothing's locked in. So I feel like if I was locked in with a nice close back or something, you know, I would have heard that up there, and it would not have left me. I would have heard that over there, and it wouldn't have left me. You know what I mean? So, again, that's where I kind of separate it right there, and that's where I really put the sound of this. Like, the detail, the clarity of those highs was so... Potent. I didn't even want to say crisp because it wasn't ear piercing or anything like that. The bass was kind of, I don't know, it was just down here hanging out, right? You had warmth. You didn't really have bass. It wasn't hitting or rumbling, anything like that. You just had a really true natural sound, again, in an environmental uh, experience. And that, and that really brought it out. So I would say hands down for competitive, no way. Not not at all. I would not recommend these. But for if you're playing a nice story game, especially open world, really environmental, yo, this is an experience that has to be tried. It was an absolute blast. Now, after looking over this pair of headphones, guys, here, right, you're probably thinking, planar magnetic, solid build. Come on, I can't afford headphones for a game. These guys come in at 110 bucks, packing everything that's packing. Is it the perfect headphone, the one and dunner? No, it's not. Like I stated, if you're playing a good open world environmental game, something like that, that's where I'm going to recommend this. And at 109 bucks, this is a must try. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. And again, if you want to kind of dabble into that headphone space for gaming, at 109 bucks, guys, you, you can't you can't go wrong right here. It is again, like I stated in the sound, an experience that has to be tried. And at 110 bucks, complete win.